Hi guys, now I've already started this and somehow I don't know how but um, I done it, I done the whole video, I done it in 20 minutes, uh, 15 minutes and then when I went to count the index cards it was only 19 again and I really don't get why this keeps happening but before I started it I counted 20 so I don't know what's happening but yeah I really don't <laughs> It's kind of annoying, um, but yeah, I'm just really frustrated. Um, so I'm getting myself prepared for even telling you for my journaling by fives with a buddy. And uh, my buddy that I am doing this with is Josie Ghetto. And I am doing it with some masking tape as well on my cards. Because um, these cards will be coming back to me, so these are going to be mine to keep when it's all done and dusted. So, I'm kind of doing it with some masking tape and stuff, and um, well, don't get me wrong, the masking tape isn't always going to work because obviously, when Josie adds her bits onto my cards, then the masking tape parts that I'm using to mask off and the, the white bits are going to be covered anyway with Josie's collage stuff. But I just thought it would be cool to. Um, try some it at least, um, some tape on it at least, and try out different things, um, different textures and you know, different patterns and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's why I'm kind of going and sticking some tape on in my cards and masking it a wee bit, certain places and different styles and or different shapes of tape, just to um, try and experiment a little. So that's why I'm using these. And then plus I want to use it because when it's finished, um, like yesterday I realised that I could do projects and I could get so much out of my projects. Like, the jelly prints I done yesterday, I ended up with like 25 prints that I can use, 25 sheets of paper that I can use as collage because I was also using my roll off book, um, my clean up book um, and uh, today I'm using this page here which is an art journal page and I'm kind of using this as a background. Um, I'm going to be, and then look, when you use the tape, you get lovely tape to put on your art journal pages, your ATCs and stuff like that. Um, so I'm trying to get the most out of it as I can. So basically I'm doing the index cards. I'm going to end up with a cool background. I'm just going to add to this one. So I'm going to end up with a cool background to use my art journal. And then I've got the pretty tape as well to use on use the embellishments on um, my stuff, um, ATCs and stuff like that, because I was actually thinking sometime next week, um, providing the weather being good and stuff, that if there's nice days where me and my sister can sit out the back, um, we're going to actually, uh, I, su I suggested to her, we were talking about it, my brother's like, well, when are you coming over? You said you were going to walk over and stuff like that. So um, I say to her that maybe next week I will, well, sometime this week maybe, because this is the beginning of a new week, that I would um, bring over some stuff to, so we can sit and make a bunch of ATCs, um, maybe some postcards and stuff like that, because I want to make a bunch of stuff so that I've got stuff handy for when I want to do racks and um, yeah so I'm not taking part in a lot of 
challenges and stuff at the moment or even swaps because there is a few people that I want to actually just send racks out to um, so that's kind of why I'm not taking part in a lot of swaps at the moment or challenges or anything like that because as I said there's a few people I want to send just racks out to so um, my sister's going to help me well she's my sister-in-law but I call her my sister um, she's going to help me make up some stuff as well so that we can put them in the racks so you might be lucky to get some like stuff postcards and stuff that's actually made from my sister-in-law as well she's no she's I wouldn't say she's a really crafty person she doesn't really do crafts but um, we did do a craft last year well this year at Valentine's she wanted to make um, something for my brother's Valentine's and um, we kind of had a, I helped her with it and we kind of had a crafting session together um, so she does enjoy doing it but she doesn't do it as much as I do um, so yeah but it'll be fun for us to have a bit of time together and do this project work on this project together so yeah she's going to help me make some stuff up and uh, I'll teach her things about it and how to do things and you know, so it's cool, it'll be fun. So guys I'm going to start and I'm, I'm, I've decided, like I have got some paint in here, in this, up here already but I have used most of it up so um, I am going to use my brush and kind of put it on here so that I can use it up. With my card. And this here I got from my shop. Um, they were throwing it out anyway, so my local shop. And uh, I spotted it and I had said to them, can I take it? And they're like, sure. What do you want it for? And I you know, like, out of curiosity. And I told them, I was like, I can use it as a paint palette or something like that, so it'll be handy for me. So I'll just kind of use these ones and then I'll squeeze more paint out. So I'm going to get started, guys, and I'll just use what's on my brush at the moment to do some of these. So I'm setting my timer for 15 minutes. I don't know how well you will see it, though. Start. I'm just kind of using up what I have on this brush at the moment and yeah it's pretty dark but I'm not too fast. I don't really care about dark pages um, but I really should have put some drop paper out so I could just throw them down but that's okay. So now I'm going to switch back to my card and uh, and some of this is it's already got paint stuff on it, so it's okay. So I'm just kind of grabbing as much paint onto my thing as I can. I'm just going to cheat a wee bit here and just kind of put these two together. <laughs> Oh, it's not all cheating because it doesn't say how to apply the paint, it just says apply the paint. So, that is what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm doing this with Josie. And yeah, it's really fun. It's just a... We don't swap very often, me. Like, the admins of the... Um, and I'm... International crafters, we don't get a chance to like really swap our art as much because, like, we're trying to do swaps with other members and um, we try to give everybody a, a chance and stuff like that, so we don't get a chance to swap much for ourselves. So, this is a fun swap for me and Josie. We have had it planned for a while now. Um, well, we're actually just going to do the actual journaling by fives and then when I had done the mad 
someone with fives on an index card. I had said to Josie, well, why don't we actually do it on an index card? And that way it shouldn't cost us as much to post it and it's kind of small. So Josie was up for it and I was like, yay! So that's kind of what we're doing. And um, I'm not too fussed about um, the backs getting messy because I, when I get like these back from Josie, I will. Um, stick some more index cards on it. Um you know so I'll stick some index cards onto the back so the back's nice and clean. I'm hoping that this time I end up with the twenty and I'll just uh, <laughs> oh. Uses up some of this in it and it adds paints. Oh, yeah, that counts. It's adding paint, doesn't it? I'm so hungry, I need to eat, eat something in a sec after I finish this as well because I am so hungry. This here's just um, like off the meat package. Like I use it as a stamp. Yeah, I'll show you. I use it as a stamp, so I just cut the the ends off it. See, I cut the ends off it, and now I'm using that to kind of scrape. Um, try to find decent paint to use. Uh, I'm using my gouache paints at the moment. They're really cool, you know, these ones. The gouache. So I like these paints. It really doesn't see how we how we have to add the paint, it just says add paint, so I think I'll do it like this. Oh, yeah. Things flying by now. <laughs> you probably why are you stamping? You're not meant to stamp yet, but Really, I'm no stamping, I'm just adding paint. <laughs> uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh wow, I've still got tons left. And I'm 
I won't have a lot left. I was actually wanting to do these with my intense, but I, thought, I just thought they were too, too long. They take too long. So I changed my mind. These paints are really good because if you put them on thin enough, they basically dry instantly, so we're at seven minutes. My internet is getting swapped over today guys, which is cool. Um, in fact it will be happening soon, between, I think it's like between one and six, and it's a uh, ten to twelve at the moment. I'm just playing because I'm doing my six minutes and I have most of my cards done so I'm just kind of playing now with different colours and don't like my door. Fingers on the go in here and scrape up some of this paint that's in here. So it's no all going to waste. I don't like waste. Oh, this has got a huge bag. <gasps> uh oh, I just splatted a bit of this on my top. Uh oh. Five minutes left to spare, guys, and I'm done. I think With five minutes left to spare, and now I just need to try and clean this blob of paint off my top and clean my hands up a bit. Uh oh, no, it's not coming off. It's made it gone worse. Uh, I've just made it worse. Look, I need to get this top changed and put in the wash. Soon as so yeah, we still have four minutes left to go, and I could probably be going back and putting some more paint on some of these because a lot of them don't actually have a lot of paint on them. I just uh -huh, I don't want you to be opening more paints and wasting more stuff. Hmm. Get enough cups of salt water on the change my top after this video. Right, so what I want to do now is pick these up and try and spread this a bit more because it takes ages to dry. And hopefully I have my 20 this time guys. Fingers crossed. 
as I say, I'm not caring too much about the bags being covered because I'm going to, when I get them all back, I will cover them with more index cards so that I can um, make it nice and clean and more sturdier. So, I'm just going to stop the clock and as you can see, I bet the clock um, still got 2 minutes 28 to go so I'm just going to stop it now because there's no point in continuing with that when I've done all my cards so here is my first one so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right I'm just going to do them in tens so this is one two three but that's getting to go for this bit of tape four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yay! So I'm going to take the tape off all these ones and show you with the tape. And uh, yeah, make sure this side hasn't got any tape on any of these ones. And then when I stop the video, I'm going to go freshen myself up and um, go and make some tea because I'm hungry. So I'm going to take this tape off. And sometimes it kind of rips the paper with it, so it can be quite, quite annoying. But there you go, beautiful tape to go on other projects. So that's what it looks like without the tape. My back is still sore. Like, I just wish it would worry and then the pain would go because it's sore. So I will use this tape and um, I'll probably need glue it again though. But I will use it in like ATCs and um, stuff like that, art journals, canvases. That's what that looks like without the tape. That one doesn't have tape. This one does. It's still pretty wet, but it's okay. Uh oh, this one the paper's actually written with it, but that's alright, it just adds more texture to the page. So, yeah, it's just really thin though, look at that. I don't know. Like, yeah, oh well. That's the worst about using the masking tape. You're probably better with like um, that painter's tape that people use. But um, I'm not sure where I get that, or I've not seen like painter's tape. I know that, that like most of the people that I know when they're painting they use masking tape, so I'm not sure how it like where this painter tape where I would get it, I'm not sure. So, and that, that's um tape I got out of it. Sure so yeah. Fun fun fun. So look at all this fab tape I'm getting at the side here. Um so it's really cool. I like it. I like it, like it, like it.
Yeah, as I say, some of this is like written up the paper as well, like the surface of the paper. But once we put like our collage and stuff on here, then that will make it more. That will make these more stuff there. Once we get the collage and bits and bobs on. So that's what the next step is. So what me and Josie will do is we'll swap these and then the next do the next step which is collage. Then we swap back. So I will when I get mine back, I will have some uh, like mine's will have Josie's collage on it, which is cool. And hers will have my collage on it. And then um the next step is um, I think it's stamps and stencils. That just looks gross, doesn't it? So I'm just going to bring this down. Um, did I show you that one? So the next step is um, stamps and stencils after collage. And step four will be. Step four is. Oh yeah, step four is um, pictures and images, but I'm trying to think who gets what, so uh, this is my book that I'm working on at the moment, or my thing gets cards, Josie will be working on hers, so we swap for collage, so jo Josie will get some of my collage, then the next stage is stamps and stencils, so I'll get my book back for stamps and stencils, then I send it back again, and um, it'll be focal point so Josie will be putting her focal point images and stuff onto my cards and I'll be putting mine onto hers so when she gets hers back she'll she'll have all my collage images on hers and my um, focal images as well and then the last stage we swap back and that'll be us getting others back and we just do the pen penmanship ourselves on our cards so and then we don't swap after that so that'll be us we'll have it to keep so um yeah so Josie's gonna get my images and stuff like that so that's kind of that's really cool and I'll get hers so yeah really cool so basically in our own books basically all we're really doing for ourselves is the paint and stamping the paint and the stamping and stencils and the um, pens, the rest Josie will do and I'll do for her. So, really cool, guys! Can't wait. So, yeah, this is fun. So, this is my cards that Josie will, I will send these off to Josie. Then, Josie will have to collage them for me. And I will need to dig out some of my collage, but the good thing is, is I made a ton of jelly prints yesterday. Um, and I've got magazine images and, you know, stuff like that. But I know that you're not meant to use them to step four, but, like, I can rip out some of the text and stuff to use in Josie's collage. And I have, like, tissue paper for collage. I've got tons of napkins and uh, all that kind of stuff, so I'm no short of collage elements um, and I'm sure Josie won't be either and like I've even got some of this for collage so I could even put some of these on your index cards Josie as well um, so that's kind of cool so anyway guys I am going to go now because I am going to go and get washed up change my top and uh, make some sandwiches because I am hungry and then just play my game for a bit um, until these engineers come out to um, change my internet over. Yay, I'm so excited. So, that's it guys. So this is the, like, I was doing ATCs the other day, the other week and um, I'll show you so that was my that's my um thingy page and then we have this here this page here which is 
all inktens and uh, from the inktens blocks um, which I used to make some ATCs um, which I'll show you at one point or another. Um, I made it like the abstract um, journal page I did I, mean, I just made one and made it an ATCs so this is the all the inktens blocks colours that I was using to clean up my brush every time I like coloured in the thingy and then this is what I got from today's journaling by files um, art journal page so that that will be cool as well to put something on here so there we go guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a, give me a thumbs up and because um, every time you give people a thumbs up it lets it lets um, YouTube know that you want to see more of the videos, so your videos get added to the suggestions and stuff. Um, so yeah, so give me a thumbs up, and if you like the video, as if you don't like the video, then just go to a different video. Um, there's no need to give people thumbs down. To be honest with you, I really don't like the fact that they've ga they've gave that option. Um, because there's just no need for it. Um, I never give anybody a thumbs down. If I don't like the video, I just move on. Um, you know, I don't. Or if I think there's like something really wrong with the video, like if I can't hear the person and that's what puts me off watching the video, I will comment and say, you know, I, I like to look at the video but I couldn't hear you so. Um, you know, so that a person knows himself as well what the problem is and why people aren't watching their video um, so they can fix it really, you know, because how are people meant to know really that there's something that you don't like about their video if you don't tell them what it is and they can't fix it um, but do it in a nice way, you know if you think that um, if there's just something that you don't like say to them in a nice way, don't be nasty about it, don't be a troll and don't be nasty um, you know, it's nice to give feedback um, but there's no need to be nasty about it um, so it's nice to be nice and uh, but in most um, video creators themselves will be nice about it and will give you feedback but in a nice way you find that most of the trolls um, that give thumbs down or just are just plain nasty people don't actually do videos themselves so they can't really criticise people's videos when they don't do it themselves so um, they're just nasty people really but um, you know, you just, you learn to uh, like people that are new to YouTube and new to making videos. Don't be discouraged, guys. Uh, um, don't let the trolls discourage you. Um, if you get a thumbs down, then just, yeah, it does hurt at first when you're first starting out. But just laugh it off, you know, because they must have, ha they had to watch your video to get a thumbs down. So you still got a view, you know, so you laugh it off. Um... And that's what I do. It, when I first started, I was like, oh my god, I got a thumbs down. But after a while, you get used to it and you just laugh it off and you go, oh well, how sad are they, you know? Um, it's just people that have got not, nothing better to do with their time and just nasty people. So, um, yeah, don't don't let it put you off making videos, guys. Um, YouTube can always use new creators and new, new videos going up. Um, so it's good. Um, so I always encourage people to try to to make videos because there's a lot of talent out there that people don't know about. Um, a lot of talented people, but we won't know unless you show us. Um, so don't 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 give your don't keep your talent hidden. Show it to the world, and um, if the world don't like it, then it doesn't matter, you know. So. You're doing it for you. Do what makes you happy, you know. I like my videos aren't the greatest, you know, but I, I do it because I like doing it, you know, and I want to I want to share 
my happiness with people um, and try and encourage people to try it themselves um, so there you go I just done a project and I'll be doing more videos on it and it didn't really cost me no, the most this project costs you is the magazine images but you don't even need to do that you can draw your own images if you want but because you're timed uh, doing this project it can you know you don't really have a lot of time to draw it but if you draw it previously and then just stick them on then there you go so yeah guys so don't be afraid to make videos and don't let trolls get you down because there's a lot of people out there who aren't trolls that would love to see your work and love to be inspired by you so yeah so anyway guys I'm going to go now so as I said if you like the video give me a thumbs up uh, if you haven't already please subscribe if you want more updates on the rest of my, my art projects and um, leave a comment and let me know what you think about trolls and um, I'll speak to you soon Bye! Mercy hand! Yay! Bye!